This is the fastest production car on Earth, the McLaren F1. The only carbon fiber structure to rival this for sheer complexity is the US Air Force's stealth bomber. But where can a car this fast be driven to its limits? A racetrack has to be the answer. Most famous race in history, Le Mans. car you've got to build has got to be so reliable and so fast and each drive has got to perform you're not dealing with just one driver so as a team you've got to perform. In Le Mans you have three drivers Masanori Sekia, Yannick of course he had a lot of Le Mans experience already and I was just a young boy and trying to push the car all the time to the limit. I can drive slowly I don't know why but it's just it's always my throttle pedal is too heavy. But traditionally the first lap turns into a frantic battle. There were way faster cars in front of us, in, in front of GT cars. That, we felt, was overall win was out of reach. But then rain begins to fall, hard. It's raining almost 20 hours during the race. We set a time to maintain throughout the race, which was 4 minutes 10. I think JJ thought he had to do that in the wet. I was something like 30, 35 seconds faster than anybody else. I was just going because the car was so good. What can I say? It was then that I had to regroup and realize that someone had to get hold of this situation. We could win this race. Something like four hours before the end, we knew that now we have a really good chance, but the uh, prototypes were still pushing hard and we knew that they can, they can catch up because it, it started to dry up. Yannick Dalmas reels off the last 10 laps. The tension is palpable in the Lanzanti pit. As each lap goes by, the Courage Porsche gets nearer and nearer. There can be no easing off. They were really close at the end, but you know, we just kept our heads cold and uh, you know, just kept pushing all the way to the end. A team formed at the last minute, with a car unproven over this kind of distance, has seen off a spirited challenge by much faster cars to score a fantastic win in the most demanding endurance race in the world. If you race at a 24-hour race, you learn what you're made of and you learn what everybody else on your crew is made of because it's like living a whole lifetime in a 24-hour period. A lot of late nights, let alone the 24 hours without any sleep. If we had a long week, they had even longer and harder week. There are lots of other aspects to that win that makes it very historic. I knew the history at Indianapolis. We've won at Monaco, so I knew that the Le Mans was going to you know, get the Triple Crown for us. The most successful debut by any manufacturer in the history of Le Mans. So there are hundreds of teams that show up over the course of those races, over the course of time, and it's part of a legacy, and it's certainly part of the, the legacy of McLaren. That to me is a very powerful way of measuring which is the best motor racing team in the world. In one team, if you can do it all, you know, and just win all three, you have done something really, really special and that remains in history books.